What is up, my dudes? Right now, you see me running with the yeah. grappling hook and getting it out onto our pond. What? Because we're trying to get something that's stuck out in the middle of the pond with it. Yeah. I missed. Yo, what's up, Twerk Fam, and welcome to today's brand new video. Now, guys, today, as you just saw, we're trying to get the granny walker out of the middle of the pond. Because if you guys don't remember in my last video, I literally jumped off the back of a trailer and hurt my leg. So we stood and running super extremely fast and I hopped on this trailer and then parkoured over the back of it. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. Oh, my leg! My leg! So unfortunately, now I limp whenever I walk. So I need the walker thing so that I can use it to help me walk better. So we're gonna use the grappling hook to try and retrieve the granny walker and hopefully it works. Let's do this. Let's do this. So I threw the grappling hook once again. I missed again. Two hours later. <laughs> Guys, I have an idea! I'm gonna take the string and walk to the other side of the pond and try dragging it into the walker! So I grabbed the string that was attached to the grappling hook and started running around the perimeter of the pond all the way over to the other side. And then I started pulling on the rope. The grappling hook is on the walker! Let's oh pull super God. hard to see if we can get it out! So I pulled super hard, but it wasn't yeah. moving! No! It's stuck in the ground too good! I don't think I'm gonna be able to get it out of the ice today! And guys, I literally can't walk all the way out on the ice because out towards the middle it'll probably break and I can't fall through it because I would probably die! So I got super depressed because I couldn't get the granny walker yeah. back from the middle of the pond yeah. so I started throwing my gloves and I even took off my winter coat! Then I just super epically yeah. slammed it to the ground and walked over here and face planted into the snow and just laid there in silence. Day two. Guys, it's been like three days now and Torg is still out here just sleeping on the ground. Let's go wake him up. Torg, wake up. You've been asleep for like three days now. Three days? That's like a whole year. You stupid. Wait a minute. Guys, no way. Look, all the snow is starting to melt. Oh. Random stuff isn't joking. I must have actually been asleep for three days out here. But all right, guys, I'm going to go inside now because since I've been asleep for three days, I literally haven't eaten. Literally listen to my stomach. <laughs> so I'm going to go inside and need a whole package of cough drops. What? Peace out until later. So I started running, but then this random snowman roasted me. Bruh, you look like a dork. What? Did you say something? Yeah, I said you look like a dork. <laughs> oh, I can't believe he just said that. You'll take that back right now. Nope. No way, guys. This makes me so mad. I'm going to absolutely demolish this random snowman. I'm going to hit him with the torque van. So I started running super epically fast and I pushed Rex out of my way and then I jumped over this river and ran all the way over to the tour van. Wait, guys! No way! Look, the paint is coming off of the van! Good thing there's this random spray paint right here! Let's paint it real quick! So I started shaking up the spray paint to get it nice and ready to paint with and then I just sent it! Oh my goodness! It looks so beautiful and luxurious and matches it perfectly! Why you always lying? But now it's time to start this bad boy up and go absolutely demolish the snowman! So I opened up the door on the van and I hopped inside and tried starting it up, but it wouldn't start up at all! What? No! It's not starting! Two thousand years later. Guys, as you know, I am a super epically scientific genius! And I literally took this battery charger and hooked it up to the van, and now it should start! Let's see if it will, come on! So I ran super fast back inside of the van once again and tried starting it, and it finally started! Yes! We did it! So I revved up the van a few times and this was all the smoke coming out of it And then I started backing it up super far and then I ran over this snow pile And started going super extremely epically fast heading all the way over to the snowman and Then I just smashed into it After I showed the snowman who was boss I just drove back over to the spot where I hit him at a few 
eight moments later. But all right, guys, I'm seriously gonna go inside and eat my bag of cough drops now. And also, make sure you guys go smash that thumbs up button right now and absolutely destroy the subscribe button because one like equals one prayer for the snowman. But yeah, we'll see you guys later at today's main part of the video, so peace out until then. <laughs> Something super crazy is happening right now. I literally just found something that's literally glowing. Like, there's literally something glowing that's out on the roof of our shed. And I just told random stuff to go get the camera, and that's what we're filming right now. But guys, look, check this thing out. Again, it's just glowing on top of the roof of our shed. <sighs> This is super crazy because I have absolutely no idea what that thing is and how it got there. We like literally just saw it because it's super bright and it's also dark outside. So you can see it really easily. But I have absolutely no idea what this thing is. But according to my calculations and observations, it seems like a good idea that we should probably go out there and check this thing out to see what it is. Come on, let's go. So I opened up our back door and walked onto the deck and then hopped up on the rail and jumped off. Then I walked over towards the glowing green thing. Yo, guys, what is it? It literally looks like it's some sort of crystal or diamond or something. Let's see if I can reach it and try to grab whatever this thing is. I tried reaching for it, but it was way too high up. Dang it! I can't reach it, it's too high up. Oh. Guys, we have to figure out a way to get this thing off of the roof. Due to my super epic, smart, legitness skills, I think I know exactly how we're gonna be able to reach it. I'm gonna stand on top of my Ferrari so I can reach it. So introducing my Ferrari. my Ferrari to help me reach the green glowing thing on our roof. I'm just gonna send it. So I grabbed my Ferrari and threw it on the ground and then I picked it back up and hopped on top of it. And then I super carefully stood up. Oh my god, guys. No way I can see what it is. Random stuff, let me see the camera. Guys, look, it's literally like some sort of diamond or something. And listen, do you guys hear that? It's making a super loud noise. I wonder if that noise is coming from the diamond. It's literally glowing too. Let me shut the light off on the camera so you guys can see. Oh my god. But wait a minute. Guys, look, there's also something else here too. It's some sort of piece of paper or something. It looks like it might be a note or something. No way. I'm gonna give the camera back to random stuff and then I'm gonna grab the diamond and then we're gonna open this thing up to see what it is. Here goes nothing. I'm gonna grab the diamond. So I very carefully reached for the emerald and grabbed it with my bare hands. <laughs> Yo, look at it. It's so beautiful and luxurious looking. And wait, this actually kind of looks like the diamond that we used to lure Shadow the Hedgehog into our trap. But this one was literally glowing. But as soon as I picked it up, it stopped glowing and it stopped making a noise as well. So guys, I wonder if this is actually a real Chaos Emerald. Because as you guys just saw, it was literally glowing and it was making a noise like the Chaos Emeralds do. And then it literally stopped as soon as I picked it up. Guys, I I don't know, but I'm gonna go ahead and open up this thing to see what it is. But as you can see, there's like literally letters and stuff on it, so I'm guessing it's some sort of note or something. Let's go ahead and unfold it. So I carefully unfolded the piece of paper. Yo, no way! It is some sort of note, guys. Let's go ahead and read it. It says, I want the rest of the Chaos Emeralds. Get them for me or else. Signed, Eggman. Say what? Say what? Guys, according to that note, Eggman, which is literally this person up here on the screen right now, said that he wants us to get him all of the Chaos Emeralds. And then he said, or else. Or else what? Like, or else is he gonna, like, attack us or something? Something? 
<laughs> Guys, I have absolutely no idea. But apparently, Dr. Eggman wants us to give him all of the Chaos Emeralds. And this must be the real green Chaos Emerald. And he gave it to us and told us to give him the rest of them. And if we don't get him the rest of the Emeralds, then he's saying or else, like he might do something. So I don't know if that means he may like attack us or something. If we don't get him all of the Emeralds. But guys, I have absolutely no idea. Make sure you guys go in the comment section down below right now. And let me know what you guys think about this. Like, what do you think it is that we should do next? Should we try to find all of the Chaos Emeralds? And if we do find all of them, should we give them to Dr. Eggman? Or should we, like, try to capture Dr. Eggman or something instead? Because if you don't know what a Chaos Emerald is, it's actually from the movie Sonic. And it literally gives, like, Sonic and them powers. So if we give these to Dr. Eggman, he could become, like, super powerful and become extremely dangerous. But guys, I don't know. Just make sure that if you guys haven't already, that you go absolutely destroy that subscribe button and ding that notification bell as well. So that way you guys do not miss any of our future YouTube videos because they're going to be super legitness. That was legitness. But guys, I cannot believe this. We literally just found a Chaos Emerald in real life. I'm going to hurry up and take it inside before somebody tries to steal it from me. So we will see you guys next time on a brand new video with TORG, aka that one random ginger. Peace out. Come true!